Hi all. I just wanted to uh, come on here and show you just a little trick that I've developed and it may be something that other people do as well. But I've just been doodling with some cables um, for the past couple of weeks actually. And um, I noticed that cables have a tendency to create really big gaps um, in certain points along the sides and sometimes even in the middle. So I just wanted to show you uh, real quick how I have added in a couple extra stitches into these cable patterns um, just to um, you know eliminate some of that extra peekaboo that goes on with cables. Um, this is going to be a cardigan or a cape. I don't know which. But right now I'm on the yoke and I have to make a decision pretty soon what I want to turn this into. But um, I just wanted to show you how I've been adapting existing cable patterns and just my own cable pattern right here on the front lapel. Um, how I've been adding the, um, I call it like a modesty stitch where you just add, okay, so here's the cable, right? It's two and two crossed here and two and two crossed here. And if you see, there's some extra half double crochets in the row below this one. So it's like two rows from where I am now. I added in a couple of half double crochets when these things split. When they were coming back together, I did not add any in. So there is a little bit of a gap here, but I've eliminated most of it through that extra stitch in the middle. Um, because what I, whoops, <laughs> what I'm doing here is I take the first cable and normally you don't crochet, um, into that unless you're just, just putting the cable in. So, um, I know I'm getting ahead of myself. This is the cable I put, this is, I'm doing double crochets on this row. I put a half double crochet in here. That helps me identify that it's not actually the stitch that's supposed to be there. What I'm really needing to do right now is a cable. So I'm going into that same stitch. I know it breaks all the rules of cables. You're not supposed to put a stitch into the place where you're, you're doing the um, front post uh, cable stitch. But that's what I've done here. And I've squished that little half double crochet behind my cable. So now this won't be a big gap if we start twisting our cables over. This will still have a little bit of a, you know, something in there to keep it from being a big old hole in the middle of nowhere. Okay, and this is, I'm just doodling with my yarn right now. I'm not really, um, I'm not really using a pattern right here. So sometimes I will crochet along and then go, hmm, I don't like that, and then, you know, change it. So here's where I'll put my extra stitch, because I've already put my cable in there, and you see how it's, it's a little bit twisted, like the, the bottom bar is more towards you because you have the tension of the cable, uh, the, the post stitch pulling it down um, towards you. So go ahead and twist it a little bit more to get that top of the stitch that you've ignored and then just put in a half double because these are double crochets and then this just a half double will keep it low and along the ridge line of these post stitches. And the same one here. Now when you're coming in on this side, you put the modesty stitch in first. Okay, so these two are modesty stitches, and they're not part of the cable pattern. I'm adding them in as extra stitches. I have no idea how I would ever put this into a pattern, to be honest with you. I really don't. I don't know how I would write, write this as a pattern. Okay. And I'm just putting in my two post cable stitches. And then I'm going to put these two in here. And when you're coming off the edge of your cable, 
you put your modesty stitch in after you do the cable. When you're coming onto the cable, you put the modesty stitch in first. So in here, I did a cable, modesty stitch, modesty stitch, cable. And then here I'm doing cable, then modesty stitch. And make sure that you pull it back and get the one that is actually, you don't want to go into here and add a uh, modesty stitch. You want to do it here. Okay, half double. Now I finish off with my normal double crochets to fill in the yoke uh, shape. Because that's what I'm doing. I'm making a yoke. And I will meet you back when I come back along and I'll show you how I cinch those uh, modesty stitches in. Okay, so here I am coming up on my cables again. I've come back around. This is the last um, double crochet or technically it was the first one. I've been doing half double crochets on the back side. And um, so here is the modesty stitch. I will not be stitching into this. I'm just going to skip it. And now I'm doing my back posts straight away. And they're double crochets for the back posts. I know they were back, they were double crochets for the front posts as well because they weren't going anywhere. They weren't moving back and forth or side to side or whatever you want to call it. These don't, you don't want to stitch into these. This is, this is the thing you have to remember. Don't stitch into these modesty stitches from the post below. When you're ready to come around, these two spots don't, you don't stitch into this one and this one. You want to go into the stitch that's part of the post, the one that the post is occupying. Okay, so you skip over these two modesty stitches. Do two modesty stitches behind the posts. and then do your posts. Um, and remember, whenever you're going along, you do your post first, then your modesty stitch, if you've already, you're already in, like on the end part, if you're coming off of a post. So you do your post first, then the modesty stitch on the same stitch. Skip over the two previous modesty stitches, then make your modesty stitch, then do your post. That's just how I've been doing it so that they lay um, closer to the posts. So it should be the fourth post right here. Okay, and now there's a modesty stitch required right here. And you want to do it right in the same stitch that the post, I don't know, there we go. Right in the same stitch. Okay. And then when you start continuing, you skip the modesty stitch from below. That's this one right here. And you go into the next one and continue on with your regular stitches and make that tight because you want it to cinch up that gap. And see now there's no gap. These are, these are the modesty stitches that help fill in around your posts. And in the middle here between these posts. And because you've cinch them together up here at the top, these modesty stitches down here have come together. So in the next row, you'll s s basically ignore them and bring them together. And so they'll also come together because you'll, you'll do probably the crisscross posts here. But that's, that's how I do it. I add in modesty stitches as I go, and I hope that it's helpful for you so that you don't have big holes in your uh, cables. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.